Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thank you so much for stopping by for a visit today. I um, have another um, critter that I've made crocheted for my Under the Sea wreath. I hope you're not sick of those videos yet because I still have several more things that I'm going to be crocheting for that wreath. And I want to share those with you guys. Um, we are supposed to get a break in the heat next week, and I am waiting on that. Like, seriously, bring it on, okay? <laughs> I'm ready for a break in this heat. This 100 degrees with the heat index, like, way over 100 is just um, too much. We've had heat advisories, like, every day, and so, um, yeah, it's just too much. <laughs> and so, therefore... I have felt really bad and I think it's just from the heat it's just so hot not that I'm out in the heat I'm not but sometimes sometimes that heat is just so intense it heats up the house and the house doesn't cool off until nighttime so whatever I can't deal with it it keeps me uh, swollen my legs and feet swollen and I know it's the heat because um, there's, I'm keeping them up a lot, so there's no other reason for that to be happening. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I wanted to share with you something I made, which you can read the title when you know it's crab, but I'll go ahead and tell you that I got this pattern from this book right here. Here's the crab right here. And I talk about this book. It's in, like, lots of videos. So let me... find the crab and show you what he is supposed to look like oh there he is oh he is so cute that's what he's supposed to look like you see he has the claws in the front and then he has three legs on each side so i am putting my crab in a wreath and it's going to have like a lot of mesh and so he's going to be wired in there some kind of way so here's my crab i did not put the legs on him i made the first one and i needed to make five more legs now <laughs> i was like oh, i can't do it i just can't oh, now <laughs> granted these legs are easy they're not like this frog's toes remember those toes right there they're nothing like that these are just tiny little cups but i was just over it because <laughs> I had made the pinchers and now I needed to make six legs I made one leg and I was just like I gotta make five more legs I'm like you know what he is gonna be sitting in that wreath um you know wherever he turns out in the wreath um he's gonna be on that whether he's sitting on the bottom or if he's on the side or whatever um, you're not going to see his legs. And so I convinced myself I didn't need to make his legs. Do y'all agree? <laughs> now, once we put it together, if I see I need to, his legs, you know, if I see he needs legs because you're going to be able to see that, I did save the first leg so I could go whip up five more legs and add to it. But I'm not going to unless I have to. <laughs> I'm getting lazy. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm getting lazy on this. Um, I've been enjoying making these critters to add to my wreath. But um, I still have quite a bit to do before I put that wreath together. And so... Um, <sighs> And so, um, yeah, I just, I have so much crocheting that I need to do. So, I skipped his legs. He's still cute. He's still very adorable without his legs. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, um, and he was a super easy make. Even the little pinchers up there were just a bobble stitch. I think he did like four double crochets in the same stitch and then hooked that together at the top of them and made those little pinchers. 
the little legs that I did not make are the easiest part of it. What's you know all together? They're the easiest part. I just got lazy, and so I didn't do the legs. But anyway, guys, yeah, I am so excited about this. Are you excited, Phoebe? You're excited about the puppy parade? Yeah. She said she's excited about the puppy parade coming up. The last day to send in photos for the puppy parade is Saturday, July the 23rd. And then um, the video of the puppy parade will come out sometime the next week. I'm giving myself lots of days to put those together. So the email will be listed in the description box. It's llamamamakayla at gmail.com. You can send in pictures of your makes, um, anything, a puppy, dog, um, or you can send in a photography photo of your dog. What you looking at, baby? <laughs> so you can uh, send in any kind of dog, any kind of artwork of a dog or a photo of a dog. And... Um, yeah, we'll put those together and make a puppy parade. And like I said, the last day to send it in is July the 23rd, but the video will not come out the next day. I learned my lesson to give myself some time to put that together. And I told my son Dakota that I did say that, that it would come out one day the following week. And he said, thank you. <laughs> Cause that was a lot of work trying to get, turn around and do a video the next day with all that. Huh, baby? Huh, are you going to be in the puppy parade? Are you? <laughs> well, guys, I hope that you have a great day. Um, I thank you for stopping by for a visit with me. Um, I The other day in a video, I was talking. I was, like, going to go, but then I thought of something. The other day in a video, I was talking, and you know how, like, well, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, I'll be about to say something and then I say something to help make my point, And then I never go back and say what I was trying to say. But in a video the other day, I was just thanking you all for being here and for being uh, my subscribers and clicking on my videos. And I was telling that, you know, some days it's hard for me to get out of bed to make videos. Some days I don't feel like it and I just want to skip that day. And I do it anyway um, because um, uh, this is what I was trying to loop back around and say that I never said because I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I thank y'all for being here because y'all give me that push that I need. Y'all are the reason I get out of the bed a lot of days. And without y'all, I might not would. Um, so I really appreciate y'all coming and watching my videos and giving me that reason to get out of the bed. Like I have said many times that crochet saved my life. Like when I started out loom knitting, loom knitting saved my life and crochet saved my life because my life had changed drastically. And um, all the things that we, that I used to do, I could no longer do. And I'm a, I'm a creative person. I'm not saying that bragging on myself or anything. I'm just saying that I've always done types of art, um, crafty art stuff. I've always, you know, painted and done things like that. And as my life changed and I wasn't able to do those particular <coughs> mediums anymore, um, I needed something to nurture my creativity or to let my creativity out because I had all this bottled up in me and so I started loom knitting and then I started um, crocheting later and so really crochet and loom knitting saved my life because it gave me something to do otherwise I would not have anything to do I would just be bored out of my mind I really would be and I'd probably have went insane by now <laughs> without having those things to do. So I do appreciate you clicking on my videos and giving me the encouragement to get out of the bed every day. What is it? Huh? <laughs> I just appreciate you encouraging me to get out of the bed every day and to um, make these videos and share my makes with you guys. Like I said, um, I don't... I don't think my makes or 
my crochet items or anything like spectacular and I'm not really like an expert or anything like that I'm just sharing what I made and telling you how I did it and how I came to that process or whatever and so that's what I like about watching other people's YouTube videos also is just seeing what they made because um, we're all different and we all come up with different um, ideas for projects and things and I just love that about everybody and so I love reading your comments and um, just you know hearing what you're working on and what's going on in your life and everything like that too so I just want to thank you all so very much for being here and uh, supporting me and encouraging me bye friends me and Phoebe will see y'all again in the next video I will I don't know about her <laughs>